There we go. Just waiting for some more people to jump in. Got some hidden fates, tends to rip. What's up? Fiesta Frog's here, Tanner's here, Pokey Mike's here. What's up, everyone? Awesome. Just waiting for more people to join really quick. You keep forgetting to send me pics of the cards. Oh, it's all right. Yeah, do it whenever. No rush. No rush at all. But yeah, um, definitely looking to do some trades and everything. I've uh, got a lot of Shining Fates. I'm missing some Hidden Fates stuff as well in the Shiny Vault, so that's what this is about today, trying to get some more Shiny Vault stuff. What's up, what's up? Tanner's here. Good to see you again. Glad that you make it to these. Um, we'll give it like another like 30 seconds just to see if there's anyone else that shows up. Maybe not 30 seconds. Let's go more like 10 seconds and then go from there. But yeah, I'm just going to be ripping through these. Yeah, let's just go ahead and start. So yeah, I got lucky today and got four of these. So my uh, camera's pretty close, so you can't see all four. But I guess I can bring them on a little bit. There's one, two, three, four. All Raichu tins, so that's kind of funny. Elite Pokemon Center, good to see you. Cameron's here. Yeah, I got really lucky. I got really lucky today. I uh, had a friend that just like happened to be like, or he had a friend that saw that they were restocking some tins today or some ETBs for Shining Fates. And I just happened to go over there right when there was five left. And the rule is only three, you can only get three. You got a Zard out of the reprints? What? Dude, that's great to hear. So yeah, I'm a big fan of the tins anyway, because it's like a reset every time. You get four packs. It's not like an ETB where you're only going to get like one pack that has a hitter. You like They make them so like every single one is like a reset. So I've heard good things about these reprints. Um, but yeah, I got lucky and just happened to be there when there was five left. There was someone grabbing three. They looked like they were going to grab the other two. And I'm like, hey, I'm going to grab those and just went for it. <laughs> so what's up, TSS? Oh, is that a Raichu tin too? Yeah, well, I've got four Raichu tins, so that's what was left. And then there was scalpers there and stuff, and I just happened to make a deal with a scalper that was there for the last two at a decent price. So luckily got four of uh, four tins. These two I got at MSRP, which was awesome, so pretty stoked about it. Um, you opened nine tins, nine full art shinies. Well, let's hope I can get that luck. I did notice these tins are different. They've got like the perforated edges right here compared to the old ones. Here, I've got an old one. Let me see. Let me grab that real fast. One second. Let me grab it. Should have had that ready. So here's one of the first print tins. Um, if you guys can tell, it's a lot different. I haven't opened this one, obviously. But yeah, it's a lot different. They had these stickers on it. This one doesn't have the sticker at all. They don't want to put that anymore. They don't want to encourage you to play online. Psh. So uh, this is the original one. Here's the new one. So they just got the perforated, and it's uh, open on the side. These ones weren't open at all. It wraps all the way around. So that's the main difference. Um, dude, I would love an evolution. That would be amazing. I am missing a couple. I traded one, too. And um, wish I didn't. <laughs> so um, it was for a shiny Zard, and then that day I pulled another shiny Zard. So I was like, why did I trade? But anyway, you can't predict those things. So, dude, Glacian would be great. I would love. What ones don't I have actually? I should pull those up. I think I've got some. I do have an Espeon. It would be nice to get. I don't think I have a Sylveon. All right, here we go. These are harder to open. Maybe it's just the tin. Oh, sick. Okay, so yeah, they have this like honeycomb on there i know some of them had like the plastic so yep there's the promo put that to the side all right there's here's the first four packs all right let's just go one tin at a time here we go you pulled the czar twice but no umbreon what that's crazy yeah i would i don't have a zard yet so yeah let's definitely get hopefully we get some luck i saw some scalpers there today too and then went on like uh like facebook marketplace and saw how much they were scalping these for some of them were selling for like 65 bucks 70 bucks so i got them for 20 so that's kind of nice so hopefully we get something good out of it stoked that i'm like not selling these too and i'm actually enjoying the opening because hidden fates is my favorite set by far as far as modern goes modern is definitely hidden fates is my favorite as far as uh, Vintage goes, uh, I was a big uh, Team Rocket fan back in the day. So those are my two faves, Vintage and Modern. I love how this has the original 151 too. 
just like my last video, I've told you guys a few times, 151 is the Pokemon I like fell in love with when I was little and still love them to this day. Don't know much about the modern Pokemon. Like, seriously, after... Oh, don't have that one. Ultra Beast. I definitely don't have that one, actually. So that's a hit. Here we go. Here's the second one. Whew. Snorlax. Yeah, I'm glad I'm opening them, too. I'm stoked on it because there's a lot of people that just get tempted to resell these, and I don't know. I just love Hidden Fates, so... Why not just rip them? Plus, that's what I hear from everyone is these are hits. Like, everyone's getting shinies out of these. That was a shiny vault out of the first pack. So, even though it's just a baby shiny, that's still amazing. So, yeah, I'm stoked I'm opening them too. Um, there were so many scalpers there just waiting. I think they were, like, waiting for the lady to, like, come back and restock them. Because I guess she only, like, emptied half the box because they were all waiting there. And then uh, she, like, closed the box and said she was going to restock them later. And they, like, were following her around or, like, they were going to act like they were shopping. And I'm just like, I'm just here for the tin. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that you opened all yours, too. That's good. I know that you're a big fan of just opening as well. And there's all those scalpers that go to that big machine that you've seen or that I've seen on your Instagram. So, that's cool that you opened yours, too. <clears throat> yeah, I want to see one of those machines out where I'm at. The Pokemon, like, vending machines. Those are sick. Okay, here we go. Oh, what? Dude, these are hitters. The reprints are sick, and it's centered. Dude, this is amazing. Sick. Like, that's two packs so far, two shiny vaults, and a full art shiny, too. Damn. And Eevee. Big fan of this card just because there's lots of Pokemon in it from the original 151. I mean, obviously, this is the hit right there, but... Dude, I'll take it. That's amazing. All right, so let me sleeve that card up really quick. I should have had these ready. Um, and then I'll do what I usually do in my videos where I'll, like, keep the best card, like what I'm calling King of the Hill. Um, I'll keep it on the screen, and then we'll just constantly update it if there's a better card. So two packs in, first 10, two shiny vaults. So pretty stoked about that. These tins are fire, dude. This is crazy. It's blowing my mind. Usually, like, I've gone through a lot of Hidden Fates. Like, this is... Hidden Fates is the um, set that got me back into Pokemon over the summer. I think it was uh, June, and I just, like, won some packs in a raffle, a base set. I think I won three base set packs in a raffle, and then I was back into it. Just, like, all right, right, I'm whatever's hit, like, hot right now, I'm going to just go back into Pokemon. Went to a card shop. And I was just like, all right, what is it? And they're like, Hidden Fates. So like, get into Hidden Fates. And I'm like, uh, deal. And then just bought like a ton of tins, tons of packs. And then got hooked. <laughs> Here I am today. So I went like 20 years without opening a pack. And then Hidden Fates was what got me back into it. Um, yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, that hit alone just covered the cost of the tin. So, I mean, this is crazy. I was going to keep a couple sealed, but you guys saw earlier that I have some sealed already. I've actually got a ton of Hidden Fates sealed. Like, one of every product is not like the main... I've got like, let's see, two... No, I've actually got a lot of ETBs. I'm going to hold on to those, but I've also got old tins, like reprint uh, tins, the original tins, and then I think six boxes. So I'll probably open some more up just as time goes, but I'm going to hold on to some of that stuff. But since I already have so much sealed stuff, saw these, I'm like, yes, got to open these. So, whew. all right, so that was our first dud pack. Oh, sick. Okay, so those two, not so great, but that's okay. So that was the third pack in. Here's the last one. Elite Pokemon Center says, after I left around 2012, I got back into Pokemon when PokeRev did his first edition base box break, and it was randomly popped up in my recommended, and boom, I was back. That's funny that you say that, because PokeRev was uh, popped up into my feed, too, like, right as I won those base set packs. Right after I won that, it was Leonhart, and um, actually, Leonhart popped up first when he pulled that Charizard. I think it was last year sometime, or maybe the year before, and I saw it, and I had to, like, show it to my sister. I'm like, D look at this guy just pulled... Um, so I saw him first, but then Pokey Rev, um, after that, I saw his videos and I was hooked after that. I was like a member, uh, doing all his, uh, member, uh, pack openings for a while, but he just stopped that unfortunately, but those were fun. It was, he definitely made it a good experience, like opening up packs and like getting like you personally involved in like the live stream and stuff and making you feel like he's doing it just for you and things. He was definitely good at that. So Definitely cool to see that guy do that because he's probably one of my Pokemon idols as far as like how to be interactive and things like that. He's way better at it, but 
All right, Missy's determination, and boom. So not a, this is still a dope card just because Giovanni's sick. <laughs> One of my favorite characters in the game, but not a shiny vault card. Full art, pretty sick, even though I have like 10 of these. So if anyone wants one, let me know. I have so many dupes and hidden fates. So here we go. This is tin two. Oh, they're actually easier to open like this. I like perforated. Even though like the whole tin's not wrapped, like you can get damaged. That just like came right off. That's so easy. Um, but yeah, here we are, tin two. I open hidden fates a different way. <laughs> I check to see if there is a shiny Jex in the back. If there is, I check the energy and then make it a guess. That's funny. Everyone kind of does it different. I've noticed that a lot of the same like pokey tuber people do it similar. When I used to go through when I was younger, just go straight through the packs and I wouldn't even know like where the rare would be. But I like kind of doing it where I'll know. Even though this is probably the more common way, your way seems a lot more fun. <laughs> I'll kind of cheat sometimes. Like, I might do it on this pack where I can kind of like look forward or look into this, like the top of the pack and you can see if it's a shiny or not. So let's go ahead and do it with this one. Just to make it a little different. I'll do that sometimes with different packs. Let me go ahead and flip it first. Choo, choo, choo. Anyone feel free to take any of these if you'd like. I've been playing the card game online a little bit more than I used to, so if anyone wants to send me their friend code I'll, or however that works with the online game, you should definitely DM me that and we should play because I'm only playing like random people online so far. So here we go. Okay, so this is uh, Tin 2, Pack 1. So, so far some hits. Um, we got two Shiny Vaults, so that's good. Here we go. Going through it kind of quicker now. You do that when you pulled the Zard. I kind of told you guys I would do it and didn't do it. So here we go. It's kind of hard to tell. It's probably not the best to do that. It looks like it's a little different just because it's kind of might be the way I'm holding it. I don't want to show it too much. Sometimes you can tell if the card's like thicker. Like that one kind of seems like it might be. So let's just keep going and see what we get. Sometimes I get excited and check it early, but I like to kind of be patient about it and wait and kind of do the build up. Even though I've seen these cards a million times, I'm sure you guys have too. Oh, Reverse Magikarp. Magikarp's one of my favorite Pokemon. Just because of Gyarados and just because you don't expect it. Okay, here we go. Whew. Nothing. So that was a dud. Boom, boom. So last couple packs haven't been that great, but that's okay. So see what we got here. Oh, let me get this over the side. King of the Hill pack. These are kind of... There we go. That's how we should have it. All right, so let's get something good here. Let's get an evolution. That would be awesome. Definitely would love an evolution card right now. All right, so let me try to do that again. Here's the card if anyone wants it. Choo, choo, choo. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Sometimes I'll do this too where I'll check the centering. Like this is the hitter card. I mean, sometimes it's the other one too in Hidden Fates, which is awesome. But that looks like almost perfectly centered. That way if I it is a hitter, I'll know that it's good first. So you can kind of, uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Those two cards do look a little different. So here we go, Water Energy. Good old Brock. Sight there. I love how it's all the original 151. You guys have like a favorite like common or uncommon card? Mine's probably that magic carp that we saw earlier, so I was stoked to get that in reverse. But all these cards, like that slow poke even has sick art. Big fan of all this, just because it's the it gives me a lot of nostalgia. So big fan of all this. Stopped opening packs in 2000 and went straight to Hidden Fates from 2019. So big jump, but then I've collected other sets since then, obviously. But this was the set that got me back into it. Clefable, which was the first card, rare card I ever pulled back in Jungle when it was first edition, my first pack. I got a first edition Clefable. It's always good to see that guy. All right, here we go. Butterfree. All right, so, so far this tin has not been so much of a hitter, but we'll keep going. We got a lot of packs left. This is a uh, pack three of four of uh, tin two. So we've still got two tins left. There's four packs per tin, for those of you who don't know, but I'm sure a lot of you do. Yeah, send me a DM if anyone plays online, on the, the card game online. If you don't take this card, I'm going to do it, but um, send me a DM so that we can play, because I've only been playing random people. Sometimes you can also tell that the card color is like a different blue. Like I don't know if that happens in Hidden Fates, but sometimes it's like a different blue. This one looks like it's the same color. I've noticed that in different sets. Like Sometimes they'll look different. 
Oh, it's kind of hard to tell, and I don't have the best camera. This one doesn't look like it's much. Who knows, though? So they don't make this energy anymore. So it's always kind of surprising to see it, just because I don't see it so often. All right, here we go. Let's get a hit this time. We definitely need it. It's been like three or four packs now. Here we go. Here we go. What are we going to get? Something good. I feel it. All right, here it comes. Magma reverse. And Onyx. I was got excited, but then I knew right away. Full Art Onyx, not a Shiny Vault card at all. Definitely have a million of those, I feel like. So here we go, the last one in this tin. This is actually my favorite um, pack art, by the way. Do you guys have a favorite? This one's definitely mine. I love the birds. Zapdos is my favorite, one of my favorite Pokemon. It's kind of hard to pick a favorite. He's always been like one or two, so I always kind of consider him one. It's kind of hard to have a favorite, especially with like all the new ones, but as far as 151 goes, it's probably Zapdos. I like Ninetales a lot. Um, Slowpoke's cool, Magikarp, Gyarados. But yeah, those are my faves. Okay, so that card I just passed, it seemed like I had like a printing error on it. Good thing it's not like a one of the rares. This one seems centered, so that's cool. Can't really tell too much. I don't have the best camera, but definitely seems like those last two, they could be different. I'm trying to look at the corners and they kind of seem like they might be a little different. So we'll see. It's this pack, I feel it. All right, so Metal Energy, Sabrina Suggestion, Chameleon, Chansey, good old Eevee. There's lots of Eevees in this set. Caterpie, oh wow, my stack of uh, bulk over here is getting a little crazy. I might have to move that here in a sec. I'll do it after this one. Paris, which I still think is a weird Pokemon. Ekans with a rainbow. There's two Ekans in the set, right? All right, Psyduck. Okay, here it is, here it is. Boom, shiny that I do not have. Ultra Beast, sick. I'm actually, that's like, I think three cards now that I don't have. I don't have any from the shiny vault that we've pulled. So yeah, that's definitely a hit. That's definitely a hit for sure. Okay, here we go, whew. Blaine's last stand. I had a feeling it wouldn't be anything crazy, but shiny vault for sure, that was huge. Still, this is our biggest one so far. Full art, shiny vault, Zygarde. But let's get some more. Okay, so this is uh, tin three. <clears throat> Hopefully this one's a little better than the last one we had. I would say uh, tin one was definitely the better tin so far. So hopefully this one kind of ups in bulk. All right, this is the tin. Let me get rid of my bulk over here as far as all the commons, uncommons, brand new tin. These tins actually do feel a little tighter than the last ones. There's some tins I've got where the top just like comes right off and these ones feel like they're a little different. So I don't know if it's the same company that made them, but yeah, anyway, let's get into this one. Okay, four new packs. Here we go. Two Mews, a Mewtwo, and a Charizard. No birds this time. Psh, they heard me go like, oh, that's your favorite. We're not gonna give you one. All right, here we go. Let's go with one of the Mews first. Should I mix these up actually? Here, we'll go with this one. You guys let me know if I should just go straight through and go through them or if I should mix them up. I like these tins too. I feel like, yeah, that's kind of how I feel too. I like these ones, like the quality's better. I can't remember what print it was. I think it was the second print. Like every shiny I got had like a ding in it. Like pack fresh. I even got an, uh, what was it? I think it was an Umbreon. It was an Umbreon. I ended up trading it, but um it had a ding in it, like pack fresh. I even had it on the camera. Like, what? This came with a ding on it? Ugh, crazy. So, yeah, hopefully none of these have that. But so far, they all look great. And actually, everything looks centered. So that I think it was the second print was just kind of trash, honestly. And it seemed like everyone was getting that. It wasn't just me. So, yeah, good to hear that some of these are uh, – this is a good print run. Because, yeah, I've had that exact problem. I think it was like print two. It was a horrendous – print run. It was crazy. A big fan of when I see fire energy. Uh, in Champion's Path, I always got Zards when I saw fire energy. I think it was just coincidence, but, you know, just because of superstition, let's go with it. Oh, uh, yeah, fire energy, Charizard, you know, all equals that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this one has something good in it. Look, you can kind of tell, like, this card just seems a little thicker. And I'm not trying to cheat, but I'm probably just hoping for it. Don't even know what I'm talking about, but you never know. There's the other Ekans. 
And I just realized that. You guys notice that? Did you guys know that? I just noticed what was in the background. I've always thought this was just another Ekans car, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. I just noticed that. It's a GX. Checks the energy. Okay, we'll see. Here we go. Let's see if you're right. Oh! Who called it? Who called it? We were just talking about this card. Dude, this is perfect too. Uh, is it? Maybe top to bottom a little off. Who fire for sure. What? We were just talking about this. These tins. Yo, if you find these tins, get them. Wow. Top to bottom, definitely off. You guys can kind of tell that, right? Top to bottom is definitely off, but this is like, there's rumors from like my friend that does like bots and stuff. And in his group, they have prediction that this card just even raw is going up in value like crazy. Getting it graded and getting a 10 on this, like definitely worth it. This I don't think we'll get a 10. I haven't looked at the back, but this definitely is going to be King of the Hill, but I think it's a little off centered. We'll compare it to my other one I have at the end of the video. If this is King of the Hill, we'll probably do that anyway. I'm like afraid to put it down. Let me get a... Here, this is going in a better sleeve really quick. Ooh, fire. I can't believe we just pulled that card. That's actually the third time I pulled that guy. No Zard. Isn't that the second best or the second hardest card to pull in the set? Second most valuable, right? Could be wrong, but... Oh, this one. I'm so glad this isn't from the second print, too, because remember this? I was just talking about how the second print had a net, like a ding in it. Oh, I wish I had a better sleeve. I might put it in a better sleeve just to show it off. Hold on one second. Oh, wow. You know what? Yeah, this is like almost perfect besides the centering top to bottom. So, yeah, second best for sure. So let's get this Zygarde GX out of here now. This is now King of the Hill. I need to get a sleeve on it, though. I'm just going to get a better one. One second. Yeah, so that's now the second full art shiny vault. Definitely the best card so far. I can't believe I've pulled three of these now and no shiny Zard. Blows my mind. That's crazy, though. Well, that just paid for the tins, especially because I got them at MSRP, too. Here, hold on. Before I, we go further, I'm just stoked on this card, so I got to show it one more time. Oh, dude, that's crazy. So centering, I uh, could be wrong, but is it a little thicker on this side? Uh, maybe. It kind of, I mean, it's pretty centered. It's pretty close. So yeah, pretty good card overall. I would say that's the only thing that's not centered right there is the bottom's a little thicker right here than up here. But other than that, yeah, second best card you can get in the whole set. Second best card you can get in Shiny Vault. So you think it gets a 10 as long as there's no dings? Yeah, I think I don't see a single ding on it. Dude, stoked on that. So at the end of the video, I'll show you my other one and we can kind of compare them a little bit, but let's continue on. Let's get this Blaine's last stand out of there. That was, a, again, we got that card. Ooh, that was huge. Huge. Okay, so let's get, that was only pack one. That was out of a Mew pack. Sick. Well, new king of the hill over here. Good old Umbreon GX. Dude, Elite Pokemon Center, you called it. We were just talking about that card. And you were talking about Umbreon, and we were talking about the second prints having dings and how that was the card that I got with the second print and got the ding in it. So, ooh, fire that we just pulled that card. And that was the card that I traded that I was all sad that I traded and got the, um, because I traded one of those for a, a shiny uh, Charizard V when Champion's Path came out. And then that same day pulled another Charizard uh, V. Um, so, yeah, I was like all bummed out. I was like, why did I trade it? I would have had an Umbreon GX. But it did have the ding in it, and the kid was cool with it. So, I mean, I guess it worked out because I pulled another. Dude, thanks, challenge. Congrats. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. Amazing card to have for sure, definitely. Yeah, it's crazy I keep pulling these. Still don't have a Zard, but, I mean, crazy. So this is from the same tin, obviously. We're on pack two. So anything from here is just a bonus. Like, that card alone pays for the pack, or for the tin. In fact, pays for all the tins, especially because I got them at retail. So, Erica's Hospitality and fire boom same tin second pack the secret rare from the set right in between the regular set and the shiny vault see with the 69 out of 68 then it goes straight into the shiny vault with scyther next so that's still a hit too damn stoked on that card that's actually one of my favorite cards in the set i kind of wish that was like 
shiny vault card too, but rainbow, the birds. Ooh, this is crazy. I can't believe these tins. Like, I feel like they printed these tins just to have hits in them the way that everyone's getting stuff. Blows my mind. So I'm still going to say that the Umbreon uh, takes the King of the Hill. This is, uh, Zygarde might be second. But yeah, this is the best that's not Shiny Vault. So, ooh, yeah, this is, yeah, these tins are fire. Personal experience along with Z pulling the heat for sure. If you guys find any, like I know it's super hard to find this stuff. In general, I'm going to sleep this up before I go forward. But I know it's super hard to find this stuff, especially when you're like a bigger city. I'm just like in a place where it's like right in between like a ton of people and not a lot of people. <laughs> so sometimes I get lucky. And if you have like inside information on when they stock stuff, you can get lucky sometimes. But dude, all the scalpers know right away. So like you can get there like 10 minutes, 20 minutes after they stock and there will be like two Pikachu V boxes, maybe one Hattern box left, which is still better than some places. But I just got lucky today and got there and there was just literally people grabbing the last tins as I got there. So I got lucky for sure today. Like I feel like my luck sometimes is like unreal. <clears throat> So, yeah, that was kind of crazy that we got. And, oh, I can't believe I got that Umbreon. That blows my mind. So, yeah, these are hits for sure. What up, Easter Bus? Good to see you. Um, yeah, so I think I don't think it will hurt the value of cards that much. I think, it, I mean, obviously, it might population wise hurt a little bit. But, I mean, everyone's just going to want stuff for sure. It could hurt just because there might be too many, but they're going to just reprint things that, you know, are good that people want to have. So. I think in the end, if they kept reprinting things forever, like they're starting to do with Champion's Path, where it's like a lot of things, then maybe. But at the end, they're not they're not going to reprint it. So there will just be a lot more out there. I mean, I don't think there's going to be like as many char base set Charizards as there were, because in the end, like every box had a base set Charizard. You know, it was like every, I don't even know how many packs, but it was like less than 36 packs, basically, or 36 packs had a Charizard. And there's not that many Charizards. You know, so like all the hitters from this, there's still less of them than there were like base set Charizard. So over time, some of these will still hold their value or go up, in my opinion. So and and Hidden Fates is the most popular modern set. Like even over Shining Fates right now, like people still love Hidden Fates more. I mean, my, maybe that's my opinion, but from what I'm hearing, people still love Hidden Fates. Like I'm more stoked about Hidden Fates, and I've got two Sh Shining Fates e uh, ETBs over there, a pin box I haven't opened. I'm like way more stoked to open these than those. So. There's a reverse Chansey, and here we go. Whew. Snorlax, Psh, dud. But what can we expect? Um, we got that uh, secret rare, the birds card, the rainbow. Um, cast for anything better that's not shiny vault. And then we got the Umbreon right here, so unreal. Yeah, Hidden Fates will always hold its value. I'm pretty sure that's true. Like, as far as I know, nothing's gone down in value. Everything's gone up that I've seen. I don't know about the Charizard as far as like the raw card value. Um, you guys might know a little bit more about that than I do because I don't look it up that much. But, um, yeah, it seems like it's either holding its value or going up a little bit. So, um, I don't know about the graded one, though. So, here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, let's see if we can get any hints first before I go too far into this last pack in this tin. We got one more tin after this. So, centering looks good on this card. That's a good sign. Let's go to the top. Kind of sticks out a little bit. It might be the way I'm holding it does look a little thicker that's a good sign water energy wasn't that one that we had a fire energy was it a fire energy the one that we got the umbreon on can't remember yeah ps18 and around or 10 excuse me psa 10 around 1400 bucks yeah it's not going down i mean that's one of the cards uh, i still want it i'm opening hidden fates packs right away almost when i get them for it so yeah, I, I don't think it's going to go down. Even with these reprints, like, they're going to, like, I saw it. Like, people were just mobbing that thing today. And they were, like, who people wanted those things. And people were scalping them right away. So it's it, the scalpers want to get them. The people that want to open uh, tins want to get them. And tins are the hits. Like, ETBs are cool and everything because they might hold their value over time. But tins are, like, for hits. Like, that's where it's at. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's something back there. I can almost, like, see. Maybe I'm seeing things, but... Here we go. Jolteon. I do love that card. And it's a reverse. And it's a rare. So that's always a good one. I mean, it's just a reverse rare. I mean, it's just a reverse. But still cool when you get reverse rares too, I think. And Jolteon's awesome. One of my favorite EV evolutions. Okay, here we go. Just Mr. Mime. Nothing good. All right, so on to the last 10. So far, this has been a great success, I would say. 
All right, last 10. Let me get this bulk out of the way. All right, fresh, fresh space here. Let's get the Umbreon right there. I keep kind of moving my screen a bit. There we go. Okay, so last 10. See what we get. I'm stoked with the Umbreon for sure. It's all been worth it just for that. So uh, after this video, like I was saying, I'll grab the other Umbreon I have so we can kind of see which one's better. Zara's in here. I feel it too. Raichu Chins. Like, even with opening Raichu Tins in the past, that's where I've always had my best luck. Like, everyone kind of goes for the Charizard Tins or the Gyarados Tins when they see them. I'm always like, where's those Raichu Tins? Just because I've had luck with them in the past. Like, that, everything I've ever pulled that's good has come from a Raichu Tin. And I was looking at, like, all because I keep all the Tins, I was looking at them, and it seems like I always get Raichu Tins. So, maybe it's just the way that I get them. But. So, we're missing a Mewtwo from this one, but that's okay. I like the birds we got. Good luck so far. Let's see if we can get that luck going. And just for anyone watching, um, if you guys haven't gone to my new website yet that I'm about to launch, it's basically done. I'm just adding products on the back end. But if you guys go to Pokey Collector Z, or sorry, Pokey Collector Dash Z.com, you guys can um, go to the giveaway that's there, or fill out a form, and then you'll enter the giveaway that I'm going to um, do in like a week. And it's going to be for like a mystery box that I'm actually going to have on my site. So. The giveaway will be for a mystery box that's like 50 bucks worth of stuff. So if you guys want to go ahead and sign up for that giveaway, just go to my new website that I'm about to launch. It's like a coming soon page there right now. Um, but pokeycollector-z.com, and you'll see the button for the giveaway. Okay, second pack, you're calling it. <laughs> We've had some good luck with people calling stuff today, so we'll see. Look, so fire energy I always feel like is good luck. Trying to look at the top to see if I can see it. I'm going to get a better camera soon. I know I keep saying that, but it's bugging me that I don't have one yet. All right, so Fire Energy, Graveler, Farfetch, Brock Stuff, Caterpie, Charmander, Clefairy, Psyduck. Here we go. Magikarp, which is one of my favorites, so that's always a good sign. Love the art on this card, too. Ekans, Reverse, with the new Articuno art I just realized is there. <laughs> All uh, right, what phone is this? It's uh, just an SE, I think they are, so nothing special. I'm just trying to get a GoPro soon, I guess. Boom, Electrode. Make it sound exciting, but it's not. Yeah, I'm just going to get a GoPro soon so I can have like a wider um, I'd like a wider lens and stuff. I can get like a fisheye for this, but yeah, I've been kind of getting used to this setup, but I definitely want to get a better one. So down here, someone called Second Pack, so... Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. I definitely could make like a really cool background and stuff. I'm probably going to try to like stream myself soon too, but we'll see. I've got a pretty cool background with all the sealed stuff I've got right next to me, but um, that's for the future. I just got to get a better camera, I think, first. So, but appreciate that. If anybody wants the card, phew, there it is. Yeah, it's got a basic mat. I'll probably end up getting like a logo or something. I'm trying to just take it one step at a time. It's kind of hard to do with work all the time, but... It's fun to do at night and for a hobby, so yeah. I think you can do face cams. If not, I have a second phone, so I could like aim one at me and like stream another account that faces me. I don't know. I'll get creative with it. If not, I'll just do like a Twitch or something. But it's fun doing this on Instagram, just because it kind of like updates everybody. And I'll probably eventually do like a Twitch thing or do like live on YouTube. But for now, I'm just doing this simple and just kind of want to open stuff. So we'll kind of see how it goes. Someone called Second Pack. So this is it. I love this Pikachu art. All the, it looks like he's having a good time, I guess. <laughs> All right, there we go. Jigglypuff. Oh, bumped the bottom on accident. Good thing that wasn't crazy. All right, Ekans. Okay, here we go. Metapod Reverse. Oh, I have it on like Nintendo uh, YouTube, like random. And some Pokemon song just came on from Heart Gold and Soul Silver. It's kind of funny. All right, boom! Oh, I thought it was something better. Starmie, just like the Onyx, equivalent to that, but still a dope card. Like, the art's cool, but just in the regular set, so nothing special. Have a million of those. I'm sure everyone else does, too, that's open Hidden Fates, because they're everywhere. But, yeah, after these two packs, I will um, show you guys my other Umbreon just to see if it's better or if this one's the better one. But definitely going to send them in. Um, probably going to send in a, a whole nother group of 20 in the next week or two. So, yeah. You're only missing that Starmie? Well, hey, dude, if you want it, let me know. <laughs> Let's work something out, a trade, or I'll just 
do something we can I can sell it to you or if we can do a quick trade or something. <laughs> I heard boom and got excited. That's funny. Yeah, I tricked you. Nothing that great. The Star Me is like cool for like a full art car, but it's just in the regular set. So it's cool when you see it the first time and everything, but once you get it and then see it again, you're like, oh, this guy. We're looking for shiny vault stuff. That's where everything's at. So we're down to our second to last pack out of four tins. Not too bad. Um, I would say Umbreon is definitely the hitter right here. It keeps moving on me a bit, so let me get that. Um, yeah, definitely I, the value on that guy if it gets a 10, which from what you guys are saying, it could definitely get a 10. Um, it's like, yeah, it could be a lot. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know exactly the price on it right now. I looked the other day just because I have it, but I can't remember exactly what it is. But even a 9 I think is kind of valuable. Even the raw card of that people are still trying to get, so... There's a Kangaskhan Reverse, which is another rare with the star right there. It's always cool when you get reverse rares. I mean, I'd rather have a shiny vault, that's for sure. But here we go. Here it is. Mew. Just an old Mew. 151. That's the end of it. That was the one that I liked the last. After that, I was like, oh, who are these all new, these new Pokemon? You got to keep with the original 151. And after that, I kind of fell out of Pokemon. I kind of got into, like, was it, Pokemon Gold? I kind of got into that, and then after that, I kind of just, like, stopped playing Pokemon so much, and then did other stuff until just this last summer. Played games here and there. Like, it, it was Pearl, I think I played, and Y, but not too much. It was all about Red and uh, Blue, and then uh, Fire Red when that came out. All right, so last pack magic. Here we go. Oops, bumped that a little bit. Let me get this a little better. Okay, last pack magic. Setting this up for it. For success. Three, four. Okay, there we go. Trying to be careful with that last card. Last pack magic. So it looks like on this one, unfortunately, the centering looks like it's a little off left to right. Could be wrong there, but it looks like it is, so... Hopefully it's nothing too crazy with the fire energy, which I was talking about earlier is what I have the superstition with, thinking that that's a hitter when you get a fire energy. So I'm a little nervous because the centering looks a little off, but I mean, we'll still take whatever I get. That's good. Lots of trainers so far. Lots of trainers so far. Caterpie. Charmander. That's always a good sign. That's bringing a Charizard, right? Oh, I hope I didn't just jinx it. Jinx it. Get it. I don't get it. All right, here we go. Psyduck, Magikarp. Here we go. Whew. Jesse and James, always a classic from the TV show. All right, here we go. Last pull. Oh, let's try to get a little hint. Oh, it looks yellow. Okay, here we go. Whew. Arbok. Really, Jesse and James? I feel like they would do this at the very end. That's kind of funny. It goes along with the show. Sick. Well, anyway, this is definitely the hit of the of the video for sure of the opening. Um, that Zygarde is probably second for sure. And then I got a couple other uh, shiny vaults I don't have, the baby shinies. But um, let me grab one card really quick if you guys hold on. One second. All right, I think it's in this one. These are all the cards that I have to send to PSA. So let me try to see if my... These are all like the modern ones. Try not to flex too hard here. Let me go through the back. I think it's in here. Here. We oh, I did have a Glaceon and a Sylveon. Okay. There it is. That's the other one. All right. So let's see which one's better. Let me put these guys to the side all safe. Oh, wow. Must be... Okay. <laughs> Must be nice to make money by opening packs. Hey, didn't you guys get the Zard? Dude, this is crazy. I know some people get the... That's so crazy that some people do that. So this one, I this is the one I had before. This one looks like it might be centered... Here, I'll compare the other one after. Kind of similar. This one looks like there's not as much space at the bottom, and then at the top there's more space. But this one looks like perfect on left to right. I've got this here so I can grab it easy. So this one, I think, is pretty close to a 9 or a 10, too. And then here's the one we just pulled today. I'm trying to be as careful as I can with it. It's got a sleeve on there. So this one's kind of got the opposite problem, where it's kind of like less up here, and then you can see more at the bottom. 
But Elite Pokemon Center saying that might still get a 10. I, even though I think they, yeah, I think it's more about this on the back when it comes to centering. As long as there's no dings on it, they should both get 10. So sick. Well, I think that's it. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, here's some of my other Hidden Fates cards I've pulled recently. Um, so yeah, I was pretty stoked that I was able to get those today. These worked out. I was able to get another one, so send these off to PSA. Everything else is basically uh, going to be for sale on my website soon. Or if you guys want to trade for anything, let me know. Uh, my new website is pokecollector-z.com. Go check it out. Enter the giveaway. And then, um, yeah, I'll do another opening probably in the next day or two. I have a lot to open. I've got a lot to open here. I'll give you guys a sneak peek. Hold on. Here's some of the stuff that I've been collecting recently. i got all these blisters. Got a whole bunch of other ones. These ones are all like sets that like have like all four of the art uh, sets. These ones are just other ones after that. Um, these cards are going to PSA. Some other crazy stuff I've gotten recently. This came from Hidden Fates King. This is the first edition one. Stoked on that. Show that stack real quick. Okay, I will in a second. Here's some unopened stuff. A lot of sealed, sealed stuff I have to open. Got some uh, um, Kanto boxes back there and one of the sides opened up. So I guess I got to open that one soon. Um, got to open some elite trainer boxes, but I feel like those don't have so many hits and that's just a pile of stuff I'm gonna sell um, Here's some hidden fates things that still got to open, but yeah, that's about it Let me show you guys the stack if you want real fast Okay, this is just like the, some of the modern stuff That I have that are going out to PSA soon one second What up TSS gaming I was just talking about how I'm gonna send some of these out to you probably soon to get these graded so just got another umbreon we were comparing the difference between my old one and my new one that we just pulled tonight don't worry there's sleeves on these guys so yeah i'm gonna send these out someone requested because i was looking for the other umbreon and pulled this out someone requested i go through the stack really quick so i'm gonna do that these are all cards i need to send out um so yeah let's start from the top um these are cards i've pulled recently i think i've got all the uh, amazing rares Here's some EVs. Probably get more of these guys out. I don't have the Chonker Rainbow yet, but I have 30-something packs to open of Vivid Voltage, so hopefully it's in there somewhere. Actually, more than that, really. But got all the rest of them. I think I've got a couple of those. These are all, like, the gold cards from that set. Um, these ones are... These are from the Serial, which I also have some of those to open, too, because I... I got some of those for the first time near me. The last time I got it from a town that had like maybe 200 people in it. So finally it was stoked to see these in a town that doesn't have 200 people in it. More like a million people around me. So anyway, it was kind of cool to see those. I just want to send some Pikachus out just to get some Pikachus graded. And these guys. But so it starts getting to my favorite cards around here. This is going to be for my own personal collection. Yeah. Wait, which one do you wish you never sold? Um, anyway, there's a lot of these. Yeah, so these are just from Hidden Fates. This is actually the Japanese version of the Hidden Fates card like that. And then there's the stained glass. There's another... Oh, we pulled one of these tonight. So yeah, probably going to send one of these off. I think these are starting to get worth a little bit, the promos. Yeah, Rainbow Peak of PSA 10. I need that. These are some of the promos, I think, from some of the Hidden Fates stuff. Like, I know this is a Hidden Fates promo, and this one's definitely going up in value. Oh, and here's, yeah, some of my other evolutions. So, yeah, this is, I think I have two of these. Some of these, this isn't even from my master set. I have a lot in my master set, too. These are just some of the cards I want to send off. Yeah, what did the nine sell for? Curious about that. Here's some of the rainbow trainers. Oh, yeah, this is the trainer stuff back here. I just love this Ninetales, by the way. It's just one of my favorite modern cards, so I'm just going to get it graded because I love it. And then here's some of the trainers. I think this Marnie is worth a lot, or someone was telling me about that, so pulled that. Got this Lily recently out of a Detective Pikachu booster. Uh, what do you call those? Yeah, booster that came with like a Detective Pikachu pack and a Sun and Moon pack, and this was in the Sun and Moon pack. 800 bucks that's crazy for the nine yeah i know that you guys have gotten some rainbows so that's crazy to hear i just like this card too that's why it's getting graded so those are just some of my moderns that are, i've got that are getting graded i have some vintage too 
Do you guys want to see that or should I save that for another video? I think I've seen it before, but or shown it before, but it was in an old video. But maybe I'll save it for another video. These we can just go over these today. So yeah, that's that's about it, guys. Thanks for uh, watching my video today. Do my uh, giveaway if you guys want to uh, check out my website, pokeycollector-z.com, where you can enter, and I'll give away a mystery box in about a week when my site goes live. So, yep, there we go. Awesome, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for my next one. See you guys soon.